So unless I majorly mistaken, I believe it is time for my brothers and I. Thank you. The Imperial March. I think it has Darth Vader on it. It's a beautiful gift. I think that might be problematic. Thank you. Give me one second. Oh, you finally decided to let me in. <laughs> Had to refresh the other computer. Oh, alright. <sighs> I guess Tiny Chat doesn't remember me and doesn't want me coming back, so... I had to be approved. Of course. It's like someone else we know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's fair. All right. He's not gonna be here, so we can just talk as much shit as we well, want. So we can just talk shit about him. Exactly. Perfect. Are we waiting on one more? I. Um, we're waiting on the middle, in between us. Oh, oh, Scotland's coming. All right. So it's really just going to be a redhead party tonight. Excuse you, I'm not red. Well, you're more red than somebody else in our family. <laughs> I mean, yes. Also, I can't quite read the chat, so if I'm leaning in and out, squinting dramatically, it's just so I can, like, read a little better. Get your glasses old, man. No! Can't tell me what to do. Besides, I don't wear glasses. Most of the time. Not even for reading? Maybe. Sometimes. I need to read this pun. <sighs> For your information, I was pretty rich until the economy crashed in 2008. But that's another story. Where is our other brother? I don't know. Oh, oh there he is. speak of the devil and he shall appear. <laughs> Can't sure hear me. Hear him. <laughs> <laughs> no, neither am I. Turns out Scotland's music in, so... <laughs> Well, then we don't have to listen to him now with an off. <laughs> He's got a cat. <laughs> Why am I not surprised that my brother has a black cat? 
good luck. He needs all the luck he can get. Okay, that's fair. I still can't hear you, Scotland. He's talking. So I'm aware I'm, I'm talking to England right now, just give me two seconds. Um. Alright. Why is he in your house? I think that's the point, he's trying to get him out of his house. Fair enough. So, are there questions for us, now that we're actually all here? Uh, not that I'm seeing so far, but I am also doing other things, so they might have popped up. Do I like puns? Maybe. If it's a bad one, I'll probably choke. But then again, all puns are bad. So, generally my answer is just not. No, not really. I'm not a huge fan. Also say no. My are we going to celebrate St. Patrick's Day together? Are we going to celebrate my birthday together? Well, I mean, you're all invited, but whether or not they show up is their own decision. We usually try to show up. Try to. Mm -hmm. well, don't sometimes like we just what can't make it. That idea? Why don't you guys like England? What gives you that idea? We love England so very much. Absolutely no issue. Oh, there's, there's absolutely no reason at all for us to not like him. Okay, but like, the, the main issue really currently, currently the main issue isn't Arthur, it's Westminster. What damn fucking Westminster is the issue right now? What do you have against Westminster right now? Please, tell us. I don't think I should get too deeply into current politics, but like, what the fuck? <laughs> the cat has found a new way it can get into the bed, and it like shakes the entire fucking bed when she does it. <laughs> you little shit. <sighs> Alrighty why, then. Why is Belarus at your place, Scott? Um, she dropped by to apologize for breaking my arm the other day. Like, a few months ago, she was nice to of her. My arm. At least she apologized. Because Wales made her apologize. What the fuck, cat? What? What should I very, like, upset <laughs> over it. So, What's wrong with my fucking cat? Is he possessed? Possessed? What do you expect? Does he need an exorcism? I mean, she is named after Mary Queen of Scots, so like, obviously something should be wrong with her, but... Why am I not surprised? Why not? am I not surprised? Do we have any plans or, well, dates specifically for Valentine's Day? Possibly. I am so booked, like, I. So many Valentines. <laughs> I'm very popular amongst the ladies, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a Tuesday this year. I do have a date. Her name is Bailey's. <laughs> oh my god. That's no more special than any other night. <laughs> it's more special because there's a lot of chocolate that's going to be involved. Normally, I would just take her out on her own. 
the chocolate's what really makes it. The chocolate makes it special. The thing is, we usually like England, our brother, but we don't like England, the country. It's more the, um... Fuck Westminster. Differentiation. Trump to the left of me, Brexit to the right, here I am, okay, stuck in so the middle like, with EU. If we give a legit answer that isn't about, like, current politics, it's mostly because the Englishman has a long history of, um, of discriminating and oppressing all of our people. And genocide. <laughs> that too. <laughs> Really fun. Mm. I'm having issues. I might have trapped myself in a blanket. Oh my god. <laughs> you trapped yourself in a blanket. Are you a burrito now? I'm partially a burrito. I'm like a burrito that's been so stuffed the innards are falling out of it slowly. So, you're a failed Chipotle. <laughs> Rude, but yes, I guess. Alrighty then. <laughs> As Alistair has a very meticulous grooming routine. The Not moment. all of our family members can be blessed with looks this good. Sorry, Kenna. It's just how it is. Right. That's why it takes you so long to look nice. Because I actually try, like, as opposed to you, as we can very clearly see. What? You don't like my sweater? I was talking about your face, but the sweater is, like, a solid 6 out of 10. I heard six out of ten rather than six that out of ten. Probably also what I said, but that's just because I got to right now. Alright, well, now that I know how Alistair feels, I'm going to go turn on a light. No, it's not. It's like too centigrade outside. Too bad for you on What's your embarrassing stories about each other? Oh boy. You're gonna have to be um. more specific. I mean, I've sort of lost count how many times Scotland's run naked into a lake, screaming something Matt, about I'm Nessie. Not about that, I'm not embarrassed about that. Like, no, it was embarrassing for the rest of us. It was, it was I'm pretty painful to everyone else present. <laughs> I am still of the opinion that clothing is optional. Yeah, but when you're screaming about Nessie at two in the morning with a full moon shining on your bare arse, it's a little... Well, that's not like... Don't, don't make it sound like... something more than once. <laughs> but it's only ever happened when I was fucking plastered. Which happens how often? <laughs> At Pretty least awesome. once a month. <laughs> but I can't do the same stupid thing every time I'm drunk, so like, it doesn't really count that way. I'm not going to argue because I realise you don't remember what you do when you're plastered, but alright. Please do tell me what I've done while I was plastered. Okay, can, can 
I want to just take a second to say that Scandinavia has a Instagram account and she has just posted this thing. <laughs> she snapped that to me. <laughs> Jesus is weed. Okay. Yeah, I... I, uh, <sighs> I... I love following Scandinavia, Mama Scandinavia on, like, social media. She's <laughs> Alright, yeah. so I think we've only told embarrassing stories about Scotland. We're well, we only going to tell embarrassing stories about the people here, or also no. Well, I mean, the the question is embarrassing stories about each other. So ah, okay. I don't think Dylan has done too much embarrassing shite aside from you know set himself on fire. Uh, You're forgetting the alligator. The fucking alligator. About the goddamn alligator. <laughs> How could you forget about the alligator? It's still in my bathroom. It strikes me that you have never named it the alligator. It is my bathroom. Did you ever give it a name? Um, that's a good question. I, I vote that... Cool. I vote that we name it Steve after the crumbled horn snork act. Uh, it is now Steve the alligator. I think it's actually female, but doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Steve. She can be named Steve, or she can be named whatever she wants. She's a strong, okay. independent, something woman. I was like, is, is it our alligator? Our alligator's alligator. reptiles? Alligator. She's like, yes, they're reptiles. Yeah, so she's a strong, independent, reptilian woman, and she don't need your gender binary. Alrighty then. Do we have a next question? Uh. Most embarrassing stories about Lincoln. There are too many. Where do we begin? I do think my favourite was when he got into a nasty rant on a pirate ship in Spain. He was, after he'd captured Spain, was yelling at and yelling and yelling, and then his voice broke, and he sounded like a wee child again. <laughs> right in the middle of a blood and conquering on all of your soil, I rule this earth, earth, earth. <laughs> <laughs> well, that got real quiet and awkward. <laughs> I, I was just kind of thinking Sorry. that it's quite fortunate for you that Arte um, wasn't old enough to really remember when your voice started cracking, because you had some pretty serious voice cracks as well. Well, you know what? I'm glad like, for that most too. Of us most of us hit puberty gracefully, not Kenneth. Puberty slapped him in the face. Excuse you, that's rude. <laughs> it's I don't think it's untrue. Grace and finesse either, a big gangly Scotsman. You're just I complimenting his ego. You tripped over six rocks in one day. Your point being... Graceful is the last word I'd use to describe it. I don't really think that graceful really defines a real man anyway, so I'm good. <sighs> You're the one who said puberty with grace in the same sentence. <sighs> It wasn't exactly graceful as the not tripping over the rocks I meant. It was more like, um... What are you doing? What? What's your dog doing? the fact that you were like... The, the bad voice cracking and freaking out about body hair. You have more than I do. Yes. 
but I didn't freak out when I got them. And then she goes, Sorry, I'm being interrupted. <laughs> <laughs> Kip off. At least someone loves you. Oh, rude. Well, I love you too. Right, more than like, my own family ever has. I need to insult you sometimes. That's how I show I love you. So harsh. You know, you know who I met recently who has genuine family love? Sealand. Finland and Sweden love that boy a lot more than our family ever did. Well, wasn't he like a mistake? Wow, that's harsh! I meant for England, like... I never met him. Is, is that kid that, like, keeps writing us, like, letters around Christmas time, and we're like, who the fuck, what, what is this? Why is yeah, he he's like, actually a like, very nice boy. His family actually yeah, gives a yeah. shite about his welfare. Sort of nice. That, well, I mean, that must be some weird, like, Scandinavian thing. They weren't very nice to us. Yeah, no, no. No, Scan Scandinavian people are like, we have our own and fuck Well, if Sweden and Finland weren't that bad. No, but the other two were. Yeah, those two are assholes. I don't have issues with Norway. It's it's mostly Denmark who is like. I know you might have some issues with Norway, but uh, I had quite some good times with Norway. So I'm good. Oh, I, I think that I didn't me. need to hear from my brother. You know about all the lines. Norway was in on that. Oh, I know, but I still don't want to hear about it. <sighs> Um, Scotland, when are you going to addiction services for your addiction? What are you, like, I don't have I an issue the, with sheep. I believe the I have term is Scotland will go to... I have an anger management issue, I have a drinking issue, I have quite a few issues. Sheep issue is not one of them, okay? Mm. Sure, it's not, but all right. The other two are a lot more valid. Also, oh, the I live in Glasgow. I don't have sheep, like actual sheep anywhere. You can't have that in Glasgow. <laughs> Arthur tripped into a hole, that was his puberty. He was like walking along, la 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 la, falls face first into a hole full of cow poop. That was his puberty. Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. Like, you know, also, you know, like trying to, like, world domination and stuff, but let's just That's not talk about that. that. His hair was terrible. Have you looked in the mirror lately? Fuck off, you I two have nice the same, You two have the same exact haircut. I'm talking about when he was going through puberty. He had his hair almost down to his iris and it looked a right mess. Excuse you. Well, but no, Dylan, you, you pull it off nicely. That. With his, it looks like he was trailing a bush. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You style of sense to keep my hair short. Also I, also, I really don't understand why anyone is calling out all the icky. Where did that come from? That's a good question. That's really More weird. like icky, am I right? <laughs> you, get like half, you get like half a gold star for trolling. <laughs> Who taught it. England how to cook? None of us did. He tried to teach himself, and he still hasn't figured it out 1,600 years later. Well, 
to be fair, the English, like, okay, I'm not going to sit here and defend the English cooking. I am not going to drag myself Good. that far. Out you should it. I did have some legit points to make, but I'm not, this is not the time or place. Good call. All of you, memories of the Vikings. Well, I could elaborate on my relationship with Norway, but I don't think my big brother would much appreciate that. You're very right, Alistair. Thank you. Really good in bed, though. What? I didn't well, hear you. That's good. I'm not going to push it. I probably didn't. So I'm not going to push it. I didn't have much interaction with the Vikings so much. Like, they didn't really come down to Wales. They were the edges, but I was having more issues with other people at that time. Look who arrived, Kenneth. Look who came. What? I don't know who came. It doesn't show me the little thing. Norway. Uh, oh, Italian. Norway just showed up. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. We were just talking about you, Norway. No, we weren't. What's the next question? There hasn't been one. <laughs> there aren't any more questions. Unless you want to uh, talk about your relationship with, uh, with, Den with your relationship with Denmark. About your relationship. I can English. It's fine. Both Denmark and Norway came to my shores. Had a lot of raids, made a lot of settlements, stuck around for about 300 years until I kicked them out. Screwed over some monks. Stole all their stuff. Burned down some light churches. That's putting it nicely. <sighs> Alright, next question. <laughs> Ireland something is not nice a happy cat. Well, like I, Ireland's not a happy were, settler. You were also being discussed because I was talking about our relationship during the old alliance. I and, uh, don't I really not, have not appreciate anything. hearing about that. And I don't really have anything nice to say about Arity. He's kind of an arsehole. Come on. You have been separated for long enough that you can say one nice thing about him. Yeah. Oh, because thanks. I'll take the punishment instead. Even a lovable asshole. Funny. The cat is just completely ignored. <laughs> no, he's not a lovable arsehole. He's the nasty kind of arsehole. Excuse me. More questions? Well, I have an answer to say something nice about Icky yet. Um, oh. I, I was just like, I don't want to say anything about that. <laughs> so um, no, I would much rather take the punishment. I have nothing nice to say about him. He and you know what this is? If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. And where did you learn that? Because it was definitely not from our dad. <laughs> from yeah. some movie that Peter was watching. <laughs> that, that That's not very... So it's only recent. Like, not very Irish of yeah. you. No, I know it's not. I am restraining myself. 
because the last so time I played this game, I didn't say anything, and I still had to eat one of his bloody scones. Actually, I sort of said something, but uh, we won't go into too many details <laughs> about that. Um, say something nice about our dad. He was a very brave warrior. Well, he was a very loving father. He was a great he was dad. Like, he, was, he was a big, scary man, but if you were close to him, he was like just a big teddy bear. It was good. Well, that's accurate. <laughs> I'm sure my cat is up to Welcome. something. What? Cat, cat, you literally... She literally sat right next to her bed. She had the fucking bed right over there. She just decided to sit next to it. She's a cat. <laughs> what do you expect? Especially one named as she is. <laughs> Um, what are more questions? Dad, I don't think there's been any more aside from say something nice about your dad. I mean, I could say more nice things about that. <laughs> He's really strong and really, really tall. You'll Clearly, I did not hair. inherit that from him. <laughs> Were, are you aware that uh, Dad had an affair with Mama Scandinavia? I'm kind of not surprised. <laughs> yeah, there's like, there's like a slight possibility the that uh, there's like a slight possibility that uh, that Denmark is our half brother. The pain. The pain on his face right now. I'm going to ignore everything you just said and wipe it from my memory. Bleach. Bleach. And Bleach. never think Bleach. about it again. Least favorite nation and ancient. Uh, I think we can all agree that fuck Rome. <laughs> I mean, I, think that I don't is, really yeah. know what you guys have against Rome. He never really did anything to me. Yeah, he didn't get far enough. He went to like, yeah, oh, we're gonna like, go as far west as Wales, like, but nah, fuck that other island. Like, I mean, apparently like, I was too cold, and he called me the land of winter, which is fucking hilarious, because have you ever met Russia? <laughs> Oh, I don't think it went like, that far. Rome was, Rome was a screwed over our father, so like, you should at least like be on that side. Mm. Unless like, do you have an ancient you like less well, than Rome? I don't, I don't, I didn't really know that many ancients. I mean, I've so been around like, for a while, but I was a wee baby when most of the ancients were around. Uh, Well, you knew enough to, like, you know, like, Gaul, um, Rome, Saxony, Germania, well, and obviously. Scandinavia. I guess I'm not a huge fan of Scandinavia, but mostly just because they raised those shit lords. Uh, and the least favourite um, nation today... Uh, would it be too obvious oh, if I said England? Hungary. She's really pissing me off these days. I'm really tired of her. Not, not Why like are you I tired of hate, Hungary? Not that I actually like hate her or anything, but she like keeps making fun of me and I'm just like, you're not even funny, you need to stop. She's really bad with comebacks, but she thinks she's great, and it's really frustrating. I like gossiping with Hungary, but I guess that's... Mm. Maybe she just doesn't like you. 
Only no, no, know. she, she, she greets me by calling me a tight-fisted wanker. <laughs> She's not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't think yeah. I have a least favorite nation. Like, I have nations that I'm not fond of, but there's not a number one winner. Also, the, the least favorite ancient is either Saxony or Rome. Um, because both brutally slaughtered my people. <laughs> and for some reason like. to not like someone. <laughs> yeah, A little bit. Um, you return to here, Scandinavia. We were definitely not talk saying anything bad about your mother. We weren't talking we were shit, I swear. definitely talking shit. <laughs> God damn it, Kenneth. Oh, but that's not a way to throw it under the bus. <laughs> okay, mostly I was fucking shy, but I think I have my reasons. What do you think of your Nile and Two Piece? Can I, like, skip this question? Because, uh. Yeah. My, my Two Piece. I is don't really going... know them. My Two Piece is My Two Piece is a piece of work. You're not allowed to skip this question. My now, my now Italian is great though. Oh yeah, Blair's like Blair's really great. I like her. I don't really know either of mine, so I can't really answer that question. The now is depressing. Elaine's nice, and Darren is. Odd. That that's one way to describe him, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> A little bit. We don't make a habit of hanging around to be. Um, more questions. Seems like none have popped up yet. No, I'm just asking in the chat to watch. Yeah, uh, we still got 15 ish minutes left, so we do need some of those questions. Because oh, we don't have Artie right. here to spike us all into fighting each other. Who says it's Arthur's fault? We might well, start the fight. He doesn't really make us stop fighting each other, he makes us stop fighting him. Like that, that's mm. completely a different matter. Mm, that's true. Tell stories about your childhood. <laughs> What's part of my childhood? I've been around for a while. What kind of stories? <laughs> yeah, that's more the... <laughs> I mean. But... That's not very specific. Um, I really liked to draw when I was little. And then I started learning from the monks in the monasteries and they taught me how to draw even more with the pretty shiny inks with lots of colours. Well, okay. When when me and, uh, and Arthur went, like, when we were small and me and Arthur had just met Franz for the first time, we, like, both really liked him and we were like trying to one-up each other <laughs> and like trying to impress Franz the most. The problem is that I was like very open about the fact that I liked Francis where Arthur was like, you know Arthur, he's, he was being pissy about it and being like, no I'm not trying to impress you, I just let me show you I can totally almost lift this log, like that kind of stuff, you know. Almost, um, <laughs> being the key word is there. Exactly. <laughs> So like that was that was amusing, especially because like um, when you and at that age, like a few years difference make like a significant difference. 
so I could do a lot of stuff that she couldn't do. And it was just kind of like it was cute watching me watching him try though. Uh, let's see. Wales, what about your childhood? There's that time I accidentally found a dragon and then got that beautiful nickname from father. <laughs> that, that was not because of the dragons, that was because of um, some poisonous gas. <laughs> a little bit. But the dragon was involved. <laughs> You find a yeah, random um, dragon almost every week. <laughs> That's yes. not exactly a special childhood oh, but it was story. my first dragon. Oh, and Dad used to call uh, Dylan Dragon Breath. Wasn't because of bad because morning I... breath. Yeah. Favorite nation and ancient who's not family? Mm. Um, that depends if we're counting Gaul as family or not. Uh, she might be distantly related to not. I mean, I like that, that was with us, so like, I, I suppose that, like, <sighs> she... Yeah, how closely are we defining family here? I mean, if Gaul doesn't count as family, then she'd be my favourite, but if she does count, um, I'd say, uh, I'd probably have to say, like, that's difficult. I didn't know a lot of ancients that were actually nice. Yeah. <laughs> I heard it would be Carthage, though. The amount of shit he calls Rome. You never met him. He could have been a dick. He could have been the yeah, most massive but... douchebag you ever met. Well, I would say Gaul is matter. also my favorite ancient. <laughs> she was really nice, and my favorite yeah. current nation, either France or Russia. Also, like, Gaul, like, Dad was happy whenever she was around, so, like, I, mm -hmm. I like her a lot just because of that. Because, like, yeah. Um, but, favorite nation. Just for today, I'm going to say Norway. Just because mm -hmm. Kenneth is here. <laughs> and because everyone Mine's else knows be, that my uh... other answer is going to be Francis. My favorite current nation is uh, Belfers. No, really. <laughs> I am sure. I know. Could have never guessed. Let them let out the shot. <laughs> However, did Belfers cross your mind? Uh, are there any more questions? Uh, uh, have we no already questions. told you Wales' nickname. Uh, yes. <gasps> Ireland, you need to answer to this question. They oh, are why you have If you had the chance, would you steal one of Dylan's dragons? Fuck no, I don't have a death wish. <laughs> Regardless of whether or not we are physically capable of dying, I would really rather not get set on fire. I I would never steal. I have given him some dragons. I I gave him a dragon for Christmas, a bad bad dragon. He didn't appreciate the gesture. <laughs> I thought it was funny. He didn't. <laughs> I needed. Um, I gave it to my two people. He'd actually use it. I thought maybe, but 
I thought maybe Valorous would also have a fun time with it, but like, if... Uh, oh, good yeah. lord. Alright, I'm on a list of things I didn't really need to know about my brother. What, what did you say, Dylan? <laughs> I said I decided Belarus did not need to know that you gifted me a bad dragon for Christmas. Oh. This is information I really, I you have really, really don't need. No, no, mate, I'm not fucking stupid. I don't want to change people into fucking bears. I'm a little bit smarter than making deals with fucking witches. <laughs> Only when you get up. I've been struggling to get into the accent all panel, but that got me into it. <laughs> Good job. I'm <laughs> so <hard>. not surprised. <laughs> Would you like pop I have a cat. I like cat. I'm I'm really more of a cat person, honestly. But like pop puppies are good too. I mean, possibly having a poppy would be better than having Mary Queen of Scots, like, almost tilting over my bed. <laughs> <This poor cat. laughs> She's really lively today, I don't get it. My accent is already gone. Ghosts. Okay. Um, yeah, cats can see ghosts. She's uh, given a glimpse into the spirit world, and the spirits are restless. Therefore, she has to be a complete arse to you. Yes. That doesn't surprise me. Dylan, maybe you can, it's like, true. send your girlfriend over and, like, appease the fucking ghosts in my house or whatever the fuck's happening. That's why your girlfriend... <laughs> maybe you that. should ask her yourself. Or maybe you should just give the cat an exorcism. Go for Miss Gary. She apologized for breaking your arm. Why did yeah, you ask when she was over earlier? But all I all I did was like trying to to like, you know, flatter her. Like trying to give her a compliment. She I don't get why she broke my arm for that. If it wasn't a cat call or something Big inappropriate. Belarus? What? No. what kind of a man do you think I am? I wouldn't do that kind of thing. The one who cat calls. I don't cat call. I'm, a gen I'm not a gentleman. I'm better than that. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna lie, I'm not a gentleman, but I'm better than cat calling women. <laughs> then what exactly did you say to Belarus? Because she doesn't break arms. She hasn't broken Kenneth's arm. That's true. She hasn't really come near me. Yeah, but like, you also avoid her quite a bit. That's not true. You don't actively avoid her. I paid her a compliment the other night, and she did not break my arm. She thanked me. I'm not going to repeat what I said. Because, yeah, no. Well, like, I also did... I said this before I knew that she was dating, dating Dylan anyway, so, like... You could have told me. She was even really more inappropriate. Yes, she didn't she? Didn't say anything nasty. I'm not. I'm not a nasty person. Not <laughs> like. Not on purpose. That's hilarious. <laughs> Please tell us another joke. Your face. I'm just in, I'm enjoying this pit. Scotland is building himself. Thank you, Sophia. I appreciate it. Oh, look at me. Fuck off, both of you. Like, three entire hot. 
What the fuck is that? It's a reference to an earlier panel. <laughs> Yeah, like last month. Uh, oh, when I was busy. So I can remember what I was doing. Wait, last month was December. No, we didn't have a uh, December one. We did last one in November, one in though. All oh, right, I think I might have been working. Scotland <laughs> has the most handsome face of the entire aisle. Oh, do you need that, like, oil in singular or oil in plural? <laughs> no, you have the only uh, face, on it, the only handsome face on your entire island. <laughs> Which, I, I mean, that means you're more attractive no, no. than all your people, no, no. but... <laughs> oil. Um, so the, there was a plural added. The bit hottie? What does that even mean? But like, but like, I think we could, like, we would all agree that if there was anyone who was going to be the face of the oil, we would choose Norm. Yeah. Uh... Why? Just stop why? playing drums at 5 a.m. in the morning. I'm so glad I have my own house now. Did you just say 5 a.m. in the morning? Yes. Okay, just clearing that up. I mean, like, 1 through 5. Like, all that time. Drums. Yeah, I'm really glad that I have my own house. It's definitely not Ellen a bad habit to pick face. up from me or anything. Nope. Bagpipes do not sound as bad in the middle of the night as drums. Uh, come on, I'm like Depends a solid nine You're a solid what? I'm like a nine and three quarters. No. Mm, no. Yes. For that comment, you're a one. Dylan, Dylan can be a ten if I can be a nine and three quarters. And where does that leave me? Ireland is not a nine if I'm an eight. That You'd is be an eleven. That is a dirty lie. Dirty lie. <laughs> ten out of ten. I'm <laughs> rated on our looks. How do you feel? But like, then, then known is like an eleven because you know, like it, it's compulsory that non-binary people break the scales. Yeah. Known is a little shite out of ten. Oh, but you love them. Completely different scale. You love them. What? I'm an eleven and a half out of ten. <laughs> excuse me. You're not excused. I would rate that a seven. Oh, a four. I don't know, that was pretty weak. That was like a four. Well, it was loud enough. It just wasn't very long. I wasn't exactly trying to hold it. <laughs> Still going to raise it anyways. <laughs> I know. Do we have any more questions? Uh, or actually, it looks like we're near out of time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have five minutes. Oh, we get music. God, it's been a while since nope. I've done one of these. We uh, don't do we don't music anymore. Music. Because oh, YouTube, right. do YouTube doesn't accept that. YouTube is like, fuck you, so we don't. Oh, alright, well, YouTube doesn't. And we have five minutes of questions. Um,
because you know, like copyright is like, ah, no, we will um, remove all audio in your video. So, uh, yeah, like strange. there's an hour of audio. It just means that all your all most engines have to be in. Uh, and Dylan, will you come visit and melt the ice? That could be interpreted uh, probably a lot differently than it's intended. I oh, I just I just realized how you meant, but I was just thinking like that doesn't sound good for the appointment. <laughs> Uh, they meant for the environment. Priority. <laughs> no, um, right. you see, winter just needs to happen so that spring can happen. He's got a point. I have to have a good death before he reboots. <sighs> I will never get my mind out of the gutter. It's been there since I was ten years old, more or less. Is the crucifix thingy magic? Scotland, would you like to? My mind might be in the gutter, but I am still free of sin. Thank you very much. I will not be tainted. Scotland, would you like to cuddle by the fire with hot chocolate? I think coddling with hot chocolate sounds like, no, no, like burn yourself, wouldn't you? <laughs> Do you mean like cuddle with you by the fire, then also no, because you are a child. And that is way too much of a romantic setting for me to cuddle with a child. Um, cuddling with Francis by the fire, that sounds like a better idea. <laughs> I'm not gonna call the dragon, yes. dragon. No. Oh god, that sounds like a recipe for a disaster. Rude. You just have a prejudice against dragons. No, I don't. I have a prejudice against things that might kill me. <laughs> so. gonna make comments. You know, like Vikings, like Arthur, like dragons. With both Norway and Denmark. <laughs> but mostly just Vikings in general. Finland is not that bad though. I think he's gotten over that phase pretty well. Well, he wasn't a Viking, so that's completely different. No, Sweden. He's terrifying for the reason. Yeah, he's done some pretty scary things. Well, the but thing is, though, like, he's been the pretty nice Vikings, since I've met him. The Vikings were only like a Scandinavian issue, and Finland isn't Scandinavian, he's just Nordic. So, he's, he's not That's, quite as problematic. That explains why he's so nice. Yeah, he's like a completely different breed of Nordic. <laughs> Dylan, why do you have America's shield? What do you mean? There is no shield. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Did he give it to you for a birthday present? Maybe. Knowing America, that wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> I, I feel like it could also be a case of the dragon steel shiny thing. Well, also, like, because it's metal. It works with dragons. Like you enough. can just in front. Um, Denmark is not going to be there for the uh, Nordic panel today, so it's only going to be Sweden and Norway. Stay and talk with your past in the next panel. No, thank you. I'll sit that one out. I have better things to do, like, you know, feed myself and love myself. What? You the phone! Okay. Speaking of the next panel.
Or is it that time? It is that time. Alright, well, thanks for having me. You all have incredibly bad taste for thinking that Ireland is better than me. Bye.